Hi everyone. And today we'll be talking about two of the most common tools that I've seen for product analytics, mixed panel and amplitude. And they sort of come in, almost get mentioned the same sentence these days. Now let's, let's dive right into it. So, you know, I have done a lot of work around mixed panel, uh, less so around amplitude. Uh, of course, they're, they're very similar. And whenever a company asks me about mixed panel, they might say, hey, but what about amplitude or vice versa? So I really want to look at some of the core differences I have seen in both tools um, and some of the differences I've seen from me and actually the teams. So, you know, how they are approaching analytics or what they think their vision is for, for analytics over the next, let's say, five years. As you can see, I have here the homepage of Mixpanel. Now, the first thing when I was, I look at an analytics tool, what I'm trying to figure out is what is their position, right? Who are they targeting? Are they going after small businesses? Are they going after mobile apps or SaaS or e-commerce or whatever it may be? You try to understand what their position is. And I get those clues from what the website says and of course what they focus on, you know, when, when you actually meet them or maybe what the resources are, maybe sometimes what their blogs are doing. So for Mixpanel, what the perspective I've always gone from Mixpanel uh, over the past few years is they, they seem to be geared more towards mobile apps. Um, or at least they were, maybe they're switching slightly now, but a lot of the product is sort of geared towards mobile apps. And you can see that when you see some features inside the Mixpanel product that are only available from mobile apps. Mixpanel lets you do A-B tests with mobile apps, right? There's no A-B testing for, for, web, for, for web apps. So that's one thing. Um, they, of course, have taken um, a focus on on some of the, you know, some web apps. And of course, you know, there's still a lot of SaaS companies or, or web apps that still use Mixpanel and they're geared towards Mixpanel. Uh, but to me, they, they feels like they have a little bit more focus for mobile or in, in, and for mobile companies. And especially for companies that want to do cross-platform. So maybe they have web, but they also have a very strong mobile presence on iOS and Android. Now, Amplitude, on the other hand, uh, seems to really be built not so much, I wouldn't say they're really mobile focus. They really do seem to be built more around product as a whole and very much about that cross-platform idea. You know, companies that really have an app across web and iOS and Android. Um, so they don't feel like they're, they're only mobile friendly or on, only like that. And I wouldn't say they're also just web app friendly. Uh, they, they really seem to be focused on product specifically. That's, that's, that's what the perception I get from Amplitude based on what they're looking at. Um, you see a lot of references to product uh, and Mixpanel, you still might see some references to marketing uh, or, or growth. Now, what the the other thing that also comes along when, when I think about position is sort of philosophy. Um, and I find the philosophy can determine how the product grows or how where the product is going. Philosophy is tricky and, and you find you, you can only really get that from talking to the people inside the company. Yeah, it's sort of hard to extrapolate philosophy <laughs> by just looking at the marketing website. But I had the chance to talk about, uh, to get, you know, get launched with mixed metal people or talk to amplitude people. And for mixed metal specifically, you know, they're taking a path where they have the basic reports, the sort of fundamental reports, and they really want to build upon that with some machine learning, so some insights. And you'll see that, you know, that, for example, they have, they have a report called Signal that's trying to help you do some prediction, uh, some predictive analytics around your data. Uh, and have other sort of predictive analytics types reports built in. Um, so that's one route that Mixpanel is going towards. And the other one is notifications. Uh, Mixpanel product lets you do notifications, email, SMS, push, and so on. Uh, so the basic idea is, you know, you're going to track your data inside. And then if you want to send a, an engagement notification or a campaign of some kind, you can build that and send it all with them. So if your company says, hey, we need product data, we need product analytics data, uh, it would be great to get some help on the inside portion, right? Maybe Maybe we don't have as much resources around data analysis. So if you can get some insights or surface for us, that'd be awesome. And we also want to do notifications out of the box. Too. We don't want to have a second tool set up, right? That's sort of the philosophy of what Mixman was building or what they have been building recently over the past few months. Now, Amplitude, on the other hand, is taking a slightly different philosophy. When I talk to them, their philosophy is they want to be best in class on one thing, and that's analytics, right? So when it comes to reporting, uh, core reports and anything around that, that's what they want to do, right? And they're built for people who want to build, who want to do very advanced reports and do very sort of advanced things. If you want notifications, you have to go get it somewhere else, right? They do have uh, some machine learning built in, and I imagine that's something that they probably build upon. 
And they also have some very advanced reports that are sort of very cool that used to be doable, you know, only by uh, using uh, Python and R and so on. And they're sort of building on top of the Amplitude platform and and letting non data analysts do that work, or even making making it easier for data analysts to do those things. So that philosophy is sort of interesting because you you can see that perhaps you know the mixed model product eventually will one may will might not be as good in terms of reports, and we can even see it today. Versus the amplitude is just really doubling down those reports and leaving other things to the side, right? So I would, you know, I would define basic reports as the following. One, you have a, a way to break apart your events and see patterns or trends in your data. So you take your event data, you break it down by properties, and you display that in different charts. That's one basic report. Mixed panel calls is insights, it's called segmentation. Um, amplitude, I think, has a similar name for it. I actually can't remember what calls it, but that's let's say that's a very basic event breakdown report. It tells you what happened. Uh, another fundamental report is like a funnel, being able to build a funnel of multiple steps and see the conversion rate through, you know, through the funnels, right? Uh, a third basic report would be retention. So this will be a cohort analysis. You know, we can see that here. Um, and, you know, be able to see are, are people using the product? And then the fourth basic report, I would say, is uh, profiles. So be able to look at individual users and their timeline and all the little things that they did, all the events they fired. So on those core reports, uh, mixed panel and amplitude are the same. Right, they both have the same core reports, right? If we go in amplitude, and and we go sort of dig down a little bit into some of the reports, and I don't think they might have it here on the website anymore. Uh, what their actual reports are. So on, on those on those basic reports, they are really uh, almost identical. If we just consider those reports, right? There's some you know there's some subtle differences that I think come from amplitude being sort of newer product where you can see a little bit more flexibility built into some of their, their basic reports, right? If we look at this create chart right here, actually, you know, their most popular are basically those four reports I just talked about, right? The event segmentation, being able to break down events, a funnel analysis, retention, and then user, um, user composition is actually something else. So those four core reports, and then mixed panel, we have the same thing, right? We have insights, which is what is your, your breakdown of event segmentation. Uh, segmentation, almost the same. I think segmentation is a report that will disappear soon. We have funnels, retention, and then we have on the users, explore, right? So those core reports are, are almost the same. Like I said, I think the amplitude reports are a little bit more flexible. For example, in the funnels, um, you know, the, the funnels of mixed panel are order. So you have to go through the steps in a logical fashion. If they don't, they'll get counted in some steps. Versus amplitude lets you do on order funnels. So it's little details like that that perhaps give amplitude the edge on those basic reports. but if that's all you're looking for, then both tools are very similar. Um, you're not going to miss a lot by not being in one or the other. However, what we then see is that then we have some more advanced reports on the amplitude side that makes it just doesn't have, right? Pathfinder, um, Personas, Compass, Lifecycle. There's a, there's a lot of different reports here that are very advanced. Um, they're very, very cool once you have a lot of data that amplitude does have right so the the common example when people ask me you know to choose it's okay if you just want the basic reports you're really off doesn't really matter if you want those basic reports and notifications mix panel is probably the best tool for that because you'll get that out of the box if you want to get the basic reports and get another tool for notifications like intercom or customer io or something else then uh then likely uh maybe amplitude will be a better choice and if you're thinking that hey you know, to some of those advanced reports like Personas and Pathfinder and so on is something we want, then you, you, you'll probably be better off for Amplitude in the future, right? The other thing that also comes from the reports is actually looking at the pricing. And let me see, no, I have to log out here to see the pricing. I find Amplitude has probably the most interesting pricing um, out of all the products, all the analytics tools. Yeah, it's very, very appealing pricing. <laughs> so on the pricing side, uh, Amplitude gives you a free plan. They, they only have two options, free and enterprise. So free is up to 10 million events, you know, unlimited user accounts, and you get the core analytics. And I believe the core analytics is a lot of things that um, that we talk about, those, you know, those funnels, cohort, retention, revenue, and so on. Core analytics is basically what Mixpanel has. And we can see a lot of their enterprise stuff is the advanced stuff, you know, Pathfinder, um, behavior cohort, and microscope, personas, and so on. The sort of things that are really helpful, but only they're only really helpful once you have data. So there's sort of no point in giving you two for free when you're just starting out. Uh, Mixpanel, on the other hand, 
the pricing is a little bit more, I guess, more plant-based, I would you say. So you do have a free plan, you know, 5 million data points, and you get the core reports. So what, uh, let's look at what the core reports are. So the core reports is, again, the same things we're talking about, retention, follow, and so on. And it looks like some other things like the machine learning predict, which predicts which user are likely to convert. Uh, that's more of an enterprise level. But you get the bulk of the mixed panel stuff you get it in, in the free plan. Um, and it's 5 million events versus 10. Maybe slight difference we start. But really, the, the main limitation in the mixed panel free plans is actually the profiles, the people. So tracking individual users. Amplitude gives you unlimited uh, user accounts. Mixed panel only gives you 1,000. Right, and if you want up to, uh, I guess, up to 50k, then you are, you know, about a thousand a year. So that's really the main limitation, and then you go into enterprise. And at the enterprise level, I actually think they're both quite similar. I've seen both quotes for both companies, and it's usually a 50, 100k investment once you're there. So at the enterprise level, it's very similar. So that's the pricing. So I find the, you know, the amplitude price of free is is very appealing, especially because you get a lot, a lot, you know, sort of a lot of things out of the box for free. And you can build a lot of expertise around that. And then when you're ready for the more advanced reports, you might be there already. Um, on the other hand, you know, you, you also get notifications with mixed panel. Uh, another thing to compare at, especially nowadays, is integrations, right? Um, you've seen more and more, both tools actually move towards integrations and bringing data from other tools or sending data to other tools. Uh, I believe that mixed panel integrations are, uh, they're actually pretty similar, I think, when it comes to integrations, both mixed panel and amplitude. They both integrate with things like Salesforce. I know Mixpanel recently has Sapier, which then gives you access to a thousand other tools once you're able to set that up. So that's a big plus for Mixpanel. On the Amplitude side, they do have um, I think outbound for notifications, uh, which makes sense, right? Because they don't have notifications. So you can do outbound. Urban Airship, I think does notifications as well. And Mixpanel, I think, might have Arcado. So they're, they're similar in terms of what tools they integrate. Some might have one or the other. Um, so I really depends on what tools you're looking for. And I do find that a lot of companies do build custom integrations to tools like Mixpanel and Amplitude just because they need them. And it's not like they have, um, you know, all these options. I guess, you know, Mixpanel or Zapier, you can have a lot more options. But um, that's something that you, you probably want to watch out because you're going to see more and more integrations coming in because these tools are now living in the middle of tools like Marketo and Salesforce and all this other stuff. Seeing more and more integrations is, is something I would expect from and lastly, if we're comparing them, we have to look at the implementation uh, effort. I find that's, I will almost say, almost identical uh, in terms of implementation time. Um, you know, you'd be implemented through the JavaScript library, so maybe a server library, or maybe like the HTTP uh, API. Uh, one benefit Mixpanel has here is they have they have built libraries over time for things like Python and Ruby and PHP, uh, which can sometimes make it easier to implement. Uh, so that's one thing. Amplitude, on the other hand, I believe one has JavaScript, and they do have the mobile SDKs like iOS and Android, but they have no server libraries. If you want a server, you tend to be thrown into the HTTP API for important data. Over, you know, from my experience, it seems like a backend developer might not care too much if it's the HTTP library; they'll just build something around that. So it might not be a big con uh, when you when you look at that. But that that is one thing. If you do want sort of nice libraries for Python or, or Ruby then Mixpanel will have those for you. But once again, you know, we, look, we look at the Amplitude product and there's little details that might make it slightly easier. Um, and there are things that you might not look as much when you start, but then eventually, or at least in my perspective, when I see 10, 20 implementations or plus, you start to notice those little things. Uh, you know, Amplitude has a way to track sessions out of the box. It's pretty handy. You can do that in Mixpanel. You just have to sort of hack it on your own. For example, the user identification, it's a little easier in Amplitude. Uh, they have a little less steps, a little bit more uh, a little bit more reliable uh, compared to mixed panel. So, but those little things when you're starting out, not a big of a deal, right? If you're if you're a little uh, along the curve, then it'd be worth it to debate a little bit some of the technical limitations or technical differences before you make a decision. But both tools are, are great options. Um, I'm, I'm of course quite fond of mixed panel for the reason so much, uh, but I can definitely say that you know the amplitude product is slowly starting to sort of. <laughs> sort of sell me over just because it's it's quite nice and some of the little details you notice them after after some time when you're like oh yeah that's really cool or like oh yeah that took me a long time to do and this other tool and i can the box here so yeah let me know if you have any questions thanks